Yo, what's up, people? It's Marky, the coolest nerd. Got a little something new. Wanted to show y'all, man. Quick video. Um, it's a Samsung Galaxy, not Galaxy, Odyssey. Samsung Odyssey Arc. Um, I just got it yesterday, man. Just released yesterday, actually. Um, 55 inch gaming monitor slash TV slash screen. It's crazy, man. Um, I don't think many people have them. Um, we've seen like some unboxings, like unbox therapy, things like that. Shout out to them. Um, and they actually probably were the ones that enticed me to get it the most. Um, but I feel like it's, you know, a lot of reviews out there um, from the big names, you know, C, uh, CNET and, you know, different places like that. But I don't know that all of them go into the details um, that some people who are maybe looking to purchase this are, are um, looking for. Um, Cause I know they didn't give me all the details that I was looking for, so um, I'm gonna go into a couple of things and and hopefully that um, you know those things uh, satisfy your curiosity, I guess. So uh, as you can see right now, um, I got it horizontal, right? Tilted down a little bit, um, you know, for my point of view to be nice. Um, Cause you kind of want to you know be away from it you know when you're playing it so you kind of want to lean back you know you, you're playing like that um now first things first um when it's horizontal like this uh which you know is a normal screen and it's got the thousand r you know curve to it so it feels like you're in vr when you're playing it or watching something um but when you're in this mode uh on a you know just when the screen is normal so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it back to where it's just a regular screen all right so that's your regular screen right this is running full 4k you know 3840 by 2160 um you know hdr in game mode all that stuff so it's it's you know killer screen as it is like this right so a lot of people wonder, you know, hey, well, when you, you know, put multiple screens up like you do, what is the resolution on those screens? The answer to that question is 1080p. So like I said, this is full screen. I can take this out to be, you know, put it in multi view. All right, so you got multi-view. Now, if you look here, it shows, uh, I hope y'all can see this pretty well on the camera, um, but it shows here like my recent. So this is how I'm gonna pretty much normally have it set up if I'm doing like some multitasking. So I'm usually playing the game, maybe watching like a trophy guide or something like that if I'm playing on PlayStation um, and then watching like, uh, or that would be on YouTube and then watching like maybe a football game or a basketball game or something. And I just run, you know, I, I have Spectrum. I can run the Spectrum app on the internet and that works for me. So I can I can have all three of those things. Rarely would I ever have four screens going. However, when it's horizontal like this, you can have four screens. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, now granted, if you don't know, um, one of the key points and something, or one of the things that people don't like uh, about this is the fact that you can't use multiple sources. So everything on this particular device is hooked up to what's called a One Connect. It's this box. It almost looks like a, a half of an Xbox Series X. Um, on the back of that, it has one plug that plugs into the TV. That's the only thing that plugs into the TV is that One Connect cord. Everything else goes into this One Connect box. So all your HDMI's, there is no Display Port. Um, it's all HDMI uh, 2.1. Of course, it's four of them, and of course, it has a LAN, so you can run, you know, make sure you got your your, your screen wired. Uh, so the power and everything comes from this box. It's running 4K 165 hertz pretty much all the time. Um, you know, right now, of course, 60 because of the limitations of like the PlayStation 5, you know, as the, uh, the regular, you know, screen goes or whatever. Um, and then games that run 120 can run 120 all that stuff, you know, but anyway Like I said all your power everything is coming from there So you can only have one screen. That's a source like the You know HDMI basically 
the other screens that you're that you you know have up are all gonna be apps so whether that be an internet browser YouTube Samsung TV plus I'm sure there are gonna be many other things that they add later um, as far as being able to use in that multi-screen or multitasking uh, way but right now it's you know it's limited to whatever it's limited to now granted using the internet was something I actually didn't even think about prior to getting it um, I just assumed the Spectrum app would be available, um, but having the internet really opens it up to you because, I mean, what can't you get on the internet, you know? So, all right, so we'll go into uh, multi-view. I forgot what this remote is called, but y'all gotta forgive me, I'm still getting used to it. It's, I mean, it has a regular remote, you know, regular Samsung uh, remote, but this is the the cream of the crop right here. Both of them are solar powered. Um, it's got the, you know, the dial and I can't think of what this thing is called, bro. That's so sad, but whatever, you can look it up. Um, it works really well, man. It just sits there. It's it's a really cool thing. You, like I said, it's a little finicky. So you, you gotta get used to it because it's just not something that's, I don't know that it's ever been seen before to be honest. All right, so we're gonna go into multi-view. Um, I actually, you know what, I may be able to just go into my recent and I may be able to just add another view. Yeah, I can. So I'll just go down here and add, how do I do that? Let's see. Okay, there we go. So add view. So see, it just took it to four screens. So it's asking me what I want this view to be now. So I can do Samsung TV plus I can actually you know, obviously I can connect my mobile phone as far as mirroring my phone. So that's a cool thing too. Um, your laptop, you can do that. And then I don't even know what this is. I don't know. It's all kind of, wow. I didn't even know you could do like ambient type stuff. I think this is a, is this a clock? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's a clock. It's got the weather going and whatnot. Um, so you can do things like that too. I didn't even, I did not know that was a thing. Um, and if you want to, you know, change any of the screens, you know, you hold the back button. Well, I wasn't select. It wasn't selected. That's my fault. So it just it's taking me out to the to where the main screen is back, the main source is back on the screen. So that's fine. Y'all got a chance to see um, the four screens, but I am gonna go back into this because I want to show you how you can resize the screens. So we go back into multi-view and see now my recent is that one. So it has all four. Um, I'm really not sure how to take one away though. I haven't tried that, but I'll mess with that later. So what I'm gonna do is I'll add YouTube here. And it's always gonna have your main source and then whatever you select. So we got YouTube, we got the main source being the PlayStation 5. And then I'm going to add that third screen um, as the browser, because like I said, that's my normal setup. And I don't have to do that. Um, I just did that just for the sake of what, what we're doing right now. Um, no, I don't want to exit. Gonna, uh, I don't know why I selected Facebook. All good though. All right, so we're gonna go all right, so see, I just resized that with the dial. So that was just me, a little flick of the wrist, not even a wrist, really the fingers. Um, and you can change these screens to, you know, however, like this is as big as it goes, of course, on a, a three screen setup. Um, you're gonna have the two smaller screens and a big screen. Um, so, you know, this is something that's pretty common or will be pretty common for me, um, you know, having the bigger screen with the PlayStation um, and then having like YouTube in the game or whatever. And that's, I mean, that that's it. Yeah, um, the main thing I think that wasn't mentioned when I was looking at stuff was that it is 1080p. Or I think maybe they mentioned that it was 1080p this way when it's horizontal. But here's the kicker. So it has to go all the way up before you 
turn it like the TV has like a fail safe essentially so it's letting you know like hey it's it's locked if you're trying to turn it it's not all the way up because it doesn't want you to tear the TV up or tear the screen up by hitting your desk or whatever so as you can see once I turned it vertically it automatically stacks them so you can only have three screens you know this way and I don't know man I love it so much but with this uh, like I said the information that was being given out was was not really telling the resolution of, of these uh, screens you know when it's stacked like this so um, this is running at 1080p as well so it, it it's not 720 I think I saw that somewhere this is 1080 so it doesn't go below 1080 um, at any point so now my PlayStation's here YouTube's here internet's here now what I can do I'm gonna tilt this down because when you're sitting down you really want this one to be like eye level so this is my like this is really what I like so these are like 27 inch monitors now you got three 27 inch monitors so with the dial the way this is I can actually change the position and you can do this at any time you can change the position of your screens so like Obviously, the internet was up top before I can move it down. Like if I want to, you know, play the game there versus having it right in front of me, you know, vice, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Um, you can't resize it. Like I said, it's it's a stack. It's, you know, this is how it's set. You can, but you can move them around. Um, trying to think of anything else you guys might want to know. Uh... I don't know. Oh, I mean, I guess I'll go into some more details about the about the uh, screen as far as what it has. Um, this is like when there's a specific button on the dial that brings up this uh, little dial thing and it, you know, just the size of the screen with the wheel. Obviously, you can't do that, like I said, because it's vertical. Um, view multiple screens at the same time. So this is where you can change your multi-view, uh, optimize your game experience with the game bar, which it has a lot of things. Uh, on the game bar i tried spider-man last night ultra wide 32 9 ridiculous um so you got your quick settings as well i think we can go into the main menu so let's do that so now facebook's a, a main thing how do i it's not really what i was trying to do Oh, also, yeah, this is another thing. So this is something that's not mentioned pretty really anywhere either. So when you turn it vertically like this and you choose to have one source, like just the main source or whatever, um, and there's no other apps or anything running, this is now 4K. Um, it's not 1080p anymore. It's only 1080p when you have multiple screens. So, and the same thing goes for horizontal. I mean, obviously, if you have a horizontal, it's going to be the big screen. Um, but yeah, when it's like this, this is a 27 inch monitor now running at 4K. So that's something that hasn't been mentioned. I know for sure. So keep that in mind. If it's like, oh man, I don't want to be playing on this big screen all the time. You know, sometimes I just want something smaller. Boom, you're covered. Then you got, you know, whatever. I think you can change this. I'm fairly sure that you can change what's back here. But it's just, a, you know, it's just something that's there. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is running at 4k. So that's a thing. Uh, I'm actually going to go back horizontal to show you the rest of this stuff. So let's see. I'll tilt this. And we will get her back to normal. So I think I, I think you can actually take this all the way down. Okay. Um, I think you can. This is actually is low. This is lower than I've ever had it. So yeah. Um, I don't know if it goes all the way down to the base, but this is lower than I've ever gotten it. So I don't know if I did something different that time. But either way, um, 
we're back to the main screen. So I'm going to go to, I really don't know if I know how to get home. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. So this is your normal, like, you know, you got a Samsung TV, you know, with this. This is similar to, to that. I think it's the same thing now with the 2022 TVs. Um, so, you know, you got your different media things and apps and whatnot. Uh, now, if you go over here, you got your game hub. So this is something new to Samsung TVs now, the 2022 TVs and screens. Um, so you have like your, all your streaming apps for gaming. Um, so as you can see, I got my PlayStation 5 and PC as my first apps and devices or what have you, but you got Xbox, um, X Cloud or whatever it's called, uh, GeForce Now, Luna, um, there's other things as well. Um, those are just the three that I know that I have. And I mean, do I really use them? Not so much because I have a PC and I have Xbox games on the PC and Luna, uh, who really cares? Um, but it's there, you know what I mean? So that, that's that's a good thing for for those that would, you know, want to use that who don't have a PC or don't have an Xbox or something like that. Um, I, I'm interested to see if later on you can actually put those apps in one of the screens. So right now, I don't think that you can do that, um, but I would imagine that's something that's coming later. Um, yeah, so there's that. And it does work. Um, I did try Xbox out last night I tried out GeForce um, so both of them you know work really well like I said I have mine wired so uh, it, it's given enough bandwidth to to do what it needs to do and you can see down here it's kind of highlighting like uh, games and stuff like that on these different apps so that's pretty sweet now it's got like the workspace thing which this has been something on Samsung TVs for a while uh, you know, you can use Dex. Oh, it's even got Mac now. Mm. I have a 2021 Samsung TV, a QLED, and it doesn't, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't have Mac, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. And you got your ambient. So you can set up, like, you know, different um, the screensavers, if you will, um, to, like, show up when you're, when you just want it to just be, you know, I don't know why someone would keep a screen on if they're not using it, but you know, whatever. So, you know, you can do stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I don't know if they have ones with, you know, that are animated, but I would assume so. They even have like NFTs. Why? I don't know, but you know, however you want to make some money, do what you do, Samsung. And then of course you got your search and all that stuff. So, you know, pretty cut and dry. Um, I think, I mean, it actually has a, a lot of features, you know, clearly it's a, it's a great device. Um, I'm very happy with the purchase. It is expensive, so it's not like everybody can just go out and grab one. I mean, you're talking $34.99. Did I pay that amount? No. However, that's how much it costs. So unless you got, you know, some kind of special discount and things like that, you know, that's what you're going to pay for it. So uh i mean it covers all your bases i don't i don't know i think it's you know so far with me just having it for a day again i you know i'm not gonna say that i know all the ins and outs or anything like that i've i've only spent a few hours with it um but as of right now i, I can't see myself getting rid of it because it was definitely a conversation it was like okay let, let me get it see if i like it you know hold on to the box just in case I, I don't, I, I can't imagine having anything else to be honest. Um, so yeah, uh, it's an investment, um, but I think a good investment uh, for sure. Um, and I think it's, I mean, I guess nothing's really future proof per se, but I think it, it allows me to not have to get anything for a while. So that is, that is a good thing for me because I definitely buy too much stuff. Anyway, um, that's it, man. That is the Samsung Odyssey Arc. Uh, appreciate y'all watching, man. Continue to check me out on YouTube. Uh, check me out on Instagram, uh, at the Nerdy is Cool. And, uh, yeah, everywhere else, man. Twitch, the underscore coolest underscore nerd. Um, yeah, that's it, man.
Till next time, shut up and play.